get on this account. All right. Let's go ahead and start some NGW Shockwave, man. We've not done this in a minute, so let's get it going. Let's get it popping. We have the Mildred Burke class, the Mildred Burke, the Mildred Burke Cup. That is the big tournament for tonight's show. It is going to be single elimination, 16 women tournament. The winner of this tournament wins the first ever Mildred Burke Cup, and they get a guaranteed title shot. But before we even get this show going, before that even happens, before that even happens, I don't have my uh, headset on me, so I can't really hear the theme song. MJF music hits, and out comes Disrespected No More. And they are... Yeah, it sounds very nice. I don't know if I want to do Echo Voice. If I had my, if I had my headset on my computer, I would, but I'm not going to. Um, I don't, I, I'm connected to my uh, PC headphones. Or I'm connected to my Xbox headphones. I, I would want to hear how it sounded before I did it. So... MJF starts the show, and he's out with Disrespected No More, and they're all dressed to the nines because even though Cedric Alexander and Sasha Banks came up short, Drew McIntyre and Tyler Bate won the NGW Tag Team Championships, and of course, MJF won the NGW World Championship, and they're out with their belts. Brand new belts, by the way, because we have new designs since we can use custom championships in this game. Very clean. MJF has the big gold belt, and he's shining it off. You have Drew and Tyler. They got the tag titles around their waist. And eventually, a microphone is handed to MJF. And MJF front and center of the ring. He smirks. He's all smiles. He beat Daniel Bryan last night at NGW Year One. Biggest show of the year. Beat him for the NGW World title when everyone said he couldn't do it. So MJF, this is what he has to say to start it off. You dumb marks never listen to you. Everything that I said would happen has happened. I am a man of action, and that's the creed of this whole disrespected no more unit. Actions, not words. Get a close-up on Tyler Bate and Drew McIntyre, your new tag team champions. And the camera zooms in on Tyler and Drew. They show off those belts on their shoulders. They're clean. They're rubbing on them. They're slapping the belts. Proud to be tag champions. They dethroned Sheamus and Cesaro. And then MJF starts speaking again. And of course... And MJF takes the world championship off his waist and he holds it up looking at it and the camera zooms in on it. The number one championship in all of pro wrestling. I told you I would beat Bobby Lashley for that battlefield briefcase and I did. Then I told you I would beat Daniel Bryan for the NGW world championship and look at me now. I am your world champion and there isn't a damn thing any one of you can do about it. And our conquest for championship gold is far from over. So here's a little piece of information for everyone in the back. If you're holding a championship and you're not in this ring with us, and you're not in this ring with us right now, we are your new problem. You have something that belongs to us. And then Jeff Hardy, he takes the microphone and he says, starting with you, Freshly Squeeze, you remember me? Yeah, you beat me in my debut. Congratulations, big deal. Things are different now. I'm top five in the company, OC. A whole new version of Jeff Hardy. Like MJF said, you have something that belongs to me. The Zero Gravity Championship. At Uncensored, it's time to add one more championship to our ranking. So OC, you and me, let's do this dance one more time. But with this being Uncensored and with the rules being thrown out the window... Let's go to the extreme. I'm thinking you and me, TLC. My environment, my rules. Now you're in the water with a great white, and you don't even know how to swim, bitch. And MJF, he starts talking. And Sting, don't think I've forgotten about you, bud. You thought you'd ruin my moment? You thought you'd prevent my crowning achievement? Do you not understand? I was destined for this. So now you want to fight me and my brothers at Uncensored? No rules? No holds barred? Fight anywhere? Have you not been paying attention, Stinger? We come fight ready. And Sting, there's one other proclamation I'm going to make. You see, I said 
I was going to beat Bobby Lashley, and I did. I said I was going to beat Daniel Bryan, and I did. At Uncensored Sting, I am going to beat the ever-loving shit out of you. And when I'm done, Tyler Bate and Drew McIntyre, they can have the scraps. They can have what's left. Because when we're through with you, when Disrespected No More is through with Sting, you will be removed from the annals of professional wrestling history. And MGF drops the microphone and he stares right at the camera. Disrespected No More mean all business. And then they leave the ring and we get the Mildred Burke Cup underway. Starting with our first match, Mickey James versus Io Shirai. Don't change that channel. We have singles action. And Come ladies and gentlemen, what a way to start NGW. We are 24 hours removed from NGW year one, and we have a new world champion in MJF. And what a match we had, but unfortunately, pay-per-view, we had pay-per-view issues. Had a lot of phone calls that the main event didn't go through. Man, no one could see the main event. Well, this is what we're going to do tonight. Tonight, to close the show, we're going to replay the match from beginning to end. NJF challenging Daniel Bryan for the NGW World Championship. But first, it's time to start the Mildred Burke Cup. The Mildred Burke Cup. I keep wanting to call it the Mildred Burke Classic. Mickey James. The first entrant. The first round of the Mildred Burke Cup we have. Eight matches, four tonight and four next week. The very first match in this tournament, Mickey James versus Io Shirai of the Conquest. Tie-dye up in the building. What up, girl? How you living? How's life treating you? What games we playing nowadays? And I, what a way to start the show tonight. Disrespected no more. We have the main event set for Uncensored. It was announced yet this morning. It was really announced last night. Sting. Sting wants disrespected no more. Tyler Bate, Drew McIntyre, and MJF in the first ever non-sanctioned six-man tag. No rules. Pins anywhere in the building. Weapons allowed. No holds barred. And guess what, folks? Elimination rules apply. What a fight that's going to be. And we have no idea who represents Sting, who represents Team Sting. We know it's MJF, Drew McIntyre, and Tyler Bate, the world champion and the tag team champions in that main event. Ethan really made me want to convert to PC. What did you see? I only caught the Nintendo uh, stuff today. I, I, I didn't see any of the other uh, E3 stuff. And look at a big forearm from Mickey James knocking Io Shirai right off her feet, but Shirai miss it, dot, slipping out of that drop kick. And look at Mickey James is dropping over a sweep from Shirai, followed by a Russian Lake sweep. I think uh, 2K20 was just rushed to market, unfortunately. Big cross body block from Shirai. And she, oh, look at the kick to the back. Here live in the, I, I don't even know where we're at. Here live in Pennsylvania. Philadelphia, Philly in the house. A lot of wrestling history in Philly. This is home of the old ECW arena, if you guys remember that. Well, NGW here tonight in Philly. Look at that kick to the leg. Uh, Battlefield for me, I'm going to have to see more. Right now, it's a maybe. I've never liked a Battlefield game. And they keep hyping up the 128 players, and you know what? Whatever. Uh, whatever on that. And now let Shirai sweeping the leg out from Mickey James. And stomps the arm. Does Io Shirai. Shirai with a new look. Whole new look since the Mildred Burke, or since NGW year one. Her, her and her tag partner, Shayna Baszler, coming up short against Raquel Gonzalez and Britt Baker for those NGW tag titles last night. And Shirai just dropping Mickey James over the top rope. I saw most of uh, Nintendo's showcase today. I don't know. I really, I rather, I would have wanted a Metroid Prime over a, uh, over Metroid Dread. But I'm, I'm to get Dread anyway. It looks good. And Shirai trying to work the neck of James. James fights out of it. Oh, Back for Blood's a day one buy, for sure. 
Nah, man. I think the Metroid Prime games are a million times better than the uh, Super Nintendo Metroids. I like Super Metroid, but I, Metroid Prime One, and, Metroid Prime One particularly, is one of my favorite Metroid games. And Mickey James on the top rope, high risk maneuver, frog splash, but Io Shirai with the knees up. Shirai just had that scouted. James just jumping on knees, nothing but knees. And now look at Shirai catching Mickey James, just dropping her to the canvas and an elbow to the back, the shoulder blade. James with a strike. Kick to the midsection, however. And now, what does Shirai have here? Big pump handle suplex. A pump handle German suplex. Pump handle plex. I don't know what you call that. Leg hooked. We have a pin. And James kicks out at two. Shirai needs to get back on the attack if she wants to advance to the next round of this tournament. She needs to just get right back on the attack. And look at the uppercut. Beautiful. Beautiful forearm, I don't, a flying forearm from James. Another one just teeing off on those forearms. And there's the mid kick. Catching Shirai flush and a pin. Hey, we got a resub. Thanks, Witch Doctor. I got to buy speakers for my computer, like external speakers so I can hear stuff. You can, uh, yes, you can. Well, you have, to pay, you have to have that account. So there's two, unless they changed it, there used to be Game Pass for just Xbox. Game Pass for just PC, and then there's Game Pass Ultimate where you get Xbox and PC. Beautiful spine buster from Io Shirai and just goes to work on the shoulders. Knee right in the spine, pulling those shoulder blades back. Look at the arms. James and looking, looking like she's in a lot of pain. James gets back to her feet. And now James gets to the midsection and jump in the air to spiking DDT. And the leg hooked. Pinfall. And Mickey James advances to the next round. Yes, I did, PJ Black. I'm going to be honest. I didn't like it. I like all five. Okay. That's my pr so my problem with NXT right now is kind of the same problem that I see in Raw and SmackDown. It's almost like they're just throwing stuff at the wall and hoping that something sticks. Uh, I, I don't like... Your world title should not be contested in a multi-man match. It just dilutes... I think it dilutes the title. I'm not saying every match should be a singles one-on-one -on -one match, but I just feel like your world title, your main event title, it needs, to, it needs to feel a little more prestigious than that. You're telling me that you had five guys that all deserved a one-on-one -on -one. like how does johnny gargano get in the match if he just lost the uh north american title james with a big victory tonight shirai eliminated in the first round and we're gonna go to our next match like i was saying tonight's shows guys i'm gonna go ahead and be honest and apologize to my tonight's shows are very sparse in terms of storylines i are in terms of story elements didn't really write any promos the way I wanted to. We have stuff. As a matter of fact, we have coming up. We have one coming up right after this. So let's say we're in Philly. I don't. I don't remember where we're at, but let's say we're in Philly. And Brie Bella winning last night at NGW Year One, beating Sasha Banks of disrespect and no more. And she's looking to continue. What's going on? I am too dumb for you. And she's looking to continue. Continue that winning streak and advance to the next round of the Mildred Burke Cup. Mildred Burke won the original woman's title in 1937. A lot of history, a lot of tradition. We managed to acquire the WWWA Women's Championship, whose title history traces all the way back to Mildred Burke in 1937. And the winner of that of this tournament they get that title belt as their trophy as their as their nod it's a it's a rich nod to history and there's bailey bailey looks so much better in this game dude look at the jacket in this game look how it just man they got this shit looking right look at the look how the jacket just like yeah, this game looks way better. It's not even... 
it's not even up for debate. Night and day difference. Oh, yeah? When, when we playing Rainbow? I am too dumb for you. Just look, the, look at the physics of the jacket, how it moves around when she's walking. You weren't going to get anything like that in 2K20. And this is the next round in the Mildred Burke Cup. Bailey and Brie Bella. Brie Bella has something to prove in NGW. And Bailey, Bailey, my former commentator, my former broadcast partner. Next round of the Mildred Burke Cup starts right now. Bell just sounded. And Brie. Bro, we, I, you tell me, man. I, I'm on that game all the time. I sent you invites last time I played. Yo ass didn't come in. Headlock from Brie Bella. And look at that takeover. Keeps the headlock in and a big strike. And the, the, right now, look, rules are going to be lax. You're not going to see people looking to necessarily follow or play by the, the strict traditional rule set. You saw that punch from Brie Bella on the way out, and that's what you got to do. You have to do that if you want to advance in this tournament. This tournament has some real killers in it. The NGW Tag Champions and the NGW World Women's Champion. Women's World Champion, sorry. Both in this tournament. And a look at the suplex setup from Nikki. No, from Bree. Sorry, Bailey, though. Slides off the shoulders and a back suplex. Did you just see the way Bree bounced off the canvas from that slam? And Hurricane Rana from Bailey. And the headlock. Bailey has it just cinched in, just cranking on the neck of Brie Bella. Brie's going to have to find a way to get out of this. No, Bailey just lets it go. Brie not able to get off, and Brie just runs right into a clothesline. Bree having the ability that just she coming in and beating Sasha Banks at NGW year one. Unfortunately, you know, she has a lot on her mind after what happened in the main event at year one. Let's just so much happened in that MJF Daniel Bryan match. Bree and Sasha even got involved with Sasha pulling the referee out of the ring in the middle of Daniel Bryan's count. What could have won Daniel Bryan the match and a suplex for Bailey into the turnbuckle. And now Bailey goes for the cover. And a kick out at two from Bree. Bailey looks a little shocked that Bree kicked out. And, the, and I was going to say Bailey needs to stay on the attack, and it looks like she's doing so. Bailey to belly suplex. And that Bree gets the rope. Big elbow to the lower back. And how about what was announced for Uncensored? Orange Cassidy defending the Zero Gravity Championship against Jeff Hardy in a tables, ladders, and chair match. Never before done in NGW. That's Jeff Hardy's territory. He said as much tonight. He said Orange Cassidy will be swimming in waters with a great white. Bree just Bree going with the crowd. Crowd showing their support. What time is NXT in an hour? One count for Bree. Bailey so far in control of this match for the most part, but now she eats a series of clotheslines from Brie Bella, does Bailey. And Brie taunting Bailey. And look at Brie. Or no, I'm sorry, Bailey. Bailey using the ropes to get back to her feet. Brie, Brie waiting for her. Kick to the gut. What does Brie have planned here? Off the ropes, and a. Oh my God, what a hellacious knee! That, and Bailey just caught all of it. That's right. You said Orange Cat. He did say Orange Cat's in the swim. Leg hooked. Brie goes for the pin and a two count. What a match we have here. Brie looking to go to the next round, and she could do that tonight. There, wait a minute. There's the yes lock. Brie Bella has the yes lock in. Bailey. Bailey's going to have to get to those ropes. And Bree just not letting her move. Look at Bree just trying to get the weight on her. No, instead, Bree lets it go. 
just could not win that scramble with Bailey. Losing too much energy, getting exhausted. She lets go and goes for a pin and gets a two count. Yeah, it's gonna take more than that. This has been a fantastic match so far. The opening round of the Mildred Burke Cup. Very special night tonight. And now Bailey picks up Brie Bella. And a oh beautiful suplex. And a jawbreaker to counter from Brie Bella. And Bella just flooring Bailey with a big clothesline. And she stands in that corner, leans against those turnbuckles to rest and recover. You can't hate her for that. And she goes right back in the attack on Bailey with a slingshot catapult, just sending Bailey throat first in the bottom rope. She's looking at it. And look at Bailey. Bailey now just, just put it cranking the back. No, Bree fights out of it. And Bree once again with that flying forearm dropping Bailey to the canvas. And Bailey, very early on in NGW, she was a what was in that contention spot for the NGW women's title came up short. Hasn't quite gotten to that title shot level yet. Really enjoyed that match she had with Lita. That was many, many months ago. Lita now in the women's tag division with Candice LeRae. They've formed a tandem all. They formed a pretty good tag team. You have to think that they're next in line for the tag titles going after Raquel Gonzalez and Britt Baker. But with this tournament going on, it's, you know, the tag division kind of put on hold right now. Look at Bailey just sledgehammer blows, just running through Bree and a big tackle, shoulder tackle in that corner and a big elbow from Bailey. And a nice suplex. And the leg hook, Bailey goes through the pin. And Bailey does it. Brie Bella eliminated. And what a performance from Brie and Bailey going into this tournament. These ladies put on quite a show. Here's another game. Bailey really just pulling out all the stops. Brie gave her a run for her money. That, that actually was not a bad match. Okay, yeah. 2K19 kills. 2K19 kills 2K20. That match was pretty good. Brie Bella. That's right, Harpy. You could, like I said, you could be looking at a uh, future title match, my man. That those titles could be yours. Before I get this next thing going, I'm going to check my stats. I'm gonna check my stats. We're gonna see what's up. There ain't no stopping us now. We're celebrating on the floor. Okay. That was a pretty solid match. But let's get to the next. Okay, does this game like... Okay, cool. You can hit it. Okay, so that's like 2K20. See, I need, this is why I need headphones. This is why I need the headphones so I can, um, so I can do this without, hold on. So I can do this and hear the music. This is not, I don't like this. I'm not a fan. That's the one thing I don't like. I'm not a fan of that, but hang tight. I also need to, I forgot, I, for, I forgot to update what game I'm playing. So let me change that too. I'm scared of my match because Tamina is a powerhouse. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so before the next match starts, we get the Rocks theme song uh, after the Bailey Brie Bella match, and out comes the Rock, and the crowd's on their feet. Rock, obviously, he comes out. He's getting the crowd hyped. He's pacing around the stage, and then he gets in the ring, and he grabs the microphone, and you know what time it is. I didn't write this promo down, so this is going to be really off the cuff. And The Rock starts by saying, finally, The Rock has come back to Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. And you guys saw what the great one did. The people saw what the great one did at NGW year one. 
I took that 10 gallon hat off JBL's head. I turned that some bitch sideways and I stuck it straight up his candy ass. So how about that for make uh, NGW great again? And The Rock says, but now it's time to focus on something better, something brighter. Uncensored live in Chicago, Illinois. And before The Rock can continue, he's cut off by a really weird song. The song plays and Rock's face, he doesn't know what this is. And then out comes Bray Wyatt. And Bray Wyatt's in a sweater and dress pants and he has a huge grin on his face. And this is the first time we've seen we've seen Bray Wyatt since the tag team with uh, the Demon when they lost to Cesaro and Sheamus. So Bray Wyatt's been off TV for a little bit, but this is an entirely different scenario. And he says, hi, Rocky. Hi, boys and girls. It's your favorite Firefly friend, Bray Wyatt. And I'm so excited because tonight I meet The Rock. And The Rock has no idea what's going on. He's watching this guy. He's Rock is watching Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt's on the stage yelling, and The Rock's watching from the ring, and he doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know who he is. And Bray Wyatt says, Rocky. This is, this, this is unprecedented. I, I'm so nervous. I'm sweating. I can't believe it. I'm here with The Rock. And The Rock starts speaking. He says, whoa, 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 whoa. The Rock has one question. Who in the blue hell are you? And Bray Wyatt looks, and he's, he looks shocked. He goes, oh, Rock, I'm sorry. Where are my manners? I'm Bray. And Rock cuts him off. It doesn't matter what your name is. And Bray laughs and says, wowie, zowie, you sure got me, Rock. Rock, I'm very excited to meet you. He is very excited to meet you. And over the next few weeks, Rock, I have a feeling you and him are going to be very close friends. Bye now. And then Bray Wyatt leaves, and The Rock is left in the ring, just completely perplexed on what just happened. And that takes us to our next match, Tamina versus Liv Morgan. What's going on, Key? Bray, I don't know what the hell that was that we just saw, but Bray Wyatt out here, just, someone explain that. Bray Wyatt and The Rock, what a, what is Bray Wyatt talking about? Uh, Bailey beat Brie Bella. I've never seen anything like that. He said the, the Firefly friend Bray Wyatt. What does that mean? Everyone's favorite Firefly. I don't, what does that mean? Bray Wyatt said, he, the, Wyatt said he was looking forward to hanging out with The Rock and that he was looking forward to hanging out with The Rock. Who in the hell is he? Well, whatever the case, we're in the next round, the next match of the Mildred Burke Cup. Tamina squares off with Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan, the former NGW women's champion, the one to the throne, Alexa Bliss. When no one else could do it, Liv Morgan went to New Jersey at Without Honor and scored the pinfall one, two, three, the throne, Alexa Bliss. And unfortunately in her next debut, and her, her next to her first ever defense at Battlefield Japan against the debuting Hikaru Shida. Liv Morgan came up short in that two out of three falls match. And Hikaru Shida, now the first ever NGW Unified Women's World Champion. And she's also in this tournament. And you know Liv Morgan, in the back of her mind, she's thinking that there might be a chance that she runs into Hikaru Shida again and has a chance to avenge that prior loss, but not after a slam like that from Tamina. And look at the uppercut. Liv Morgan fights back with an uppercut, and they lock horns. Headlock from Tamina, and a nice takeover. And a big right hand. Just scorching Liv on the forehead. She tries for a drop kick to the leg. Liv, Liv Morgan rolls out of the ring. 
Morgan back in, clubbing blow, knocks Tamina down in a stomp. Big tournament. 16 women, single elimination. Only one person can win that WWWA Women's Championship. That's the trophy. That's what's on the line. They will have a piece of pro wrestling history if you win this tournament. They'll be in the same sense as Mildred Burke, the very first ever women's champion of professional wrestling, dating all the way back to 1937. What's up, Joker? How you doing? And Liv Morgan now with the flow. No, it looked like a float over DDT instead of head scissors takeover. Tilt the world head scissors. But Tamina gets right back up. No, Liv Morgan blocks the kick. And oh, Tamina with the kick to the midsection. And a big clothesline. Massive clothesline that just takes out Liv. Liv using those ropes to get back to her feet. Tamina, however, off the ropes. And a, oh, just dropping Liv Morgan over the top. I am not doing bad at all, Joker. Just hanging out, my man. Hanging out, looking cute. And Tamina just working that leg, single leg crab. Liv Morgan might want to think about getting to that rope or tap out. You don't want to damage those ligaments. Tamina lets go, however. I would have kept it. I don't know why she let go. And she just drops Liv with a crescent kick. Tamina just dominating this match. And look at her, just look how she just picks Morgan up with a power bomb. I've never seen the former NGW Women's Champion dominated in this fashion. Tamina on the top rope now with a big frog. This is the frog splash. Morgan up on her feet. And she, Liv Morgan needed that. She needed to get back in this fight. Moving out of the way was a great way to do it. Bray Wyatt introducing himself to The Rock tonight. We have no idea what that was about. Tamina with the DDT and now goes for a cover. And a two count. Morgan rolls out of the ring. She really doesn't have much of a choice, does she? You take a big move like that, go outside, got a 20-second count to keep things going. And she just slams Liv Morgan's head on the guardrail. And that's right, like I was saying, folks, the main event tonight, a little unconventional, a little bit different from our standard main events. Tonight's main event will be a replay of the main event from NGW Year One. We heard, the, we heard what you folks had to say. The public has spoken. Everyone was upset. We got, we got a lot of comments, a lot of, lot of, lot of knocks about the pay-per-view not broadcasting the title match in full. And we're going to replay that main event for you tonight. You can see what exactly happened between MJF and Daniel Bryan with the NGW world title on the line. Tamina with the big splash off the top and the leg hook. This could be it. And Tamina just dominates Liv Morgan. I've never seen Liv Morgan get dominated like that. Let's go back to these replays. Just look at how Tamina just, just that, that ribs, going after the ribs. What's up, Crow? And then the DDT, that's where Morgan had to slide out of the ring to recover, had to roll out, get away from Tamina. But it didn't matter because Tamina high flies off the top rope with a massive frog splash. Pancakes Liv Morgan and gets the three count, and Tamina advances in the tournament. This Mildred Burke, this Mildred Burke Cup is gonna get very interesting. We have Bailey moving on to the next round. She's gonna face the winner of Banks versus Sheeta. We had who else did we have? We have Tamina. She's gonna face the winner of Gonzalez versus Toyota. Mickey James will go on to face the winner of Baker Insane. Gosh, she uh, live. I don't know what to say, man. You got you kind of got ate up in that match, brother. I'm sorry about it. And the final match tonight in the Mildred Burke Cup, Charlotte versus Alexa Bliss. Hey, uh, Mint. I don't know if Mint's still in the stream or not. He's not. Damn, I needed to holler at him about something. And there's Charlotte. The last time we saw Charlotte, she was in a special tag team with Becky Lynch to round out that fatal four-way tag team ladder match to crown the first ever NGW Women's Tag Team Champions. And she qualified for this tournament. How can you argue? Look at the success she's had in WWE and NXT. Multi-time women's champion under those banners. 
She absolutely deserved the spot. No questions asked. She deserved a spot in this whole tournament. And so far, some uh, I think the biggest upset of the night in this tournament, biggest upset so far in the opening round, in my opinion, Liv Morgan getting not just beaten by Tamina, just dominated. It was like Morgan had, had didn't have a single answer for any of Tamina's offense. No matter what Liv Morgan threw at Tamina, Tamina just let it fly off her shoulders and just destroyed Liv Morgan. There's no other way to put it. And that you could, you very well, we very well could be looking at the next champion in the, uh, that we could be looking at, very well could be looking at the winner of the NGW, Mildred Burke Cup, in Tamina. But right now, let's focus on Alexa Bliss versus Charlotte Flair. Alexa Bliss, arguably the most dominant women's champion in the company, was a runner up in the NGW year end awards, coming second only to Kenny Omega. The man who, and speaking of Kenny Omega, no longer a member of the NGW roster, having lost the Loser Leaves NGW match to Ted DiBiase. Ted said he was going to rid NGW of Kenny Omega, and unfortunately, that's exactly what happened. But tonight we have Bliss versus Charlotte, the final match tonight in the opening round of the Mildred Burke Cup. Look at Charlotte just trip up Alexa Bliss. Bliss gets back to her feet. Big kick to the midsection from Charlotte. Charlotte with an overhand blow. Bliss locking up and Charlotte just backing Bliss into the corner. Bliss came up short last night against Hikaru Shida and our co-main event of NGW year one. Shida just an excellent champion. Probably the very best champion in NGW at this current moment in time. Really, it's between Sheeta and the women's tag team champions, Gonzalez and Britt Baker. Who, Britt Baker and Gonzalez just practically cleaning out the women's tag division. As I said earlier, looking like Lita and Candice LeRae are next in line for a shot at those tag titles. We will have to pay very close attention to that scenario. And look, look at that. Look at her just stretching the back out. Charlotte just really focusing on Bliss. And Bliss had a grueling match last night. Against Sheeta. She goes for the cover. And, Alexa Bliss and a one count. Bliss able to kick out at one. And look at that knee from Charlotte to the back of Bliss. Bliss with a jawbreaker. And runs into a knee. And Bliss able to get out of that hold. And Charlotte just tossing Bliss. I got to say, this tournament's bringing up a lot of surprises. Charlotte just dominating Alexa Bliss. And that should really tell you everything about what it's like to wrestle Sheeta. Bliss comes out of that match with Sheeta and just not quite looking the same. And Charlotte sees that. Charlotte trying to take advantage of it. Everyone is 100. So everyone has the exact same overall. Now Charlotte will barrel and just drops Alexa Bliss face first. What the fuck is this? Why are they doing this? Kyrie Sane is not getting in this match. I never had to deal with this in 2K20. Yeah, we're restarting that. That ain't happening. What is, why does this game do, you know what? Hang on. Let's quit this match. As a matter of fact, this gives me a chance to look into something. I wonder if I can edit matches on the fly. Explains why, the, why she had to finish herself fast. No, you cannot. You have to finish the match out. Okay. Well, we're going to turn entrances off for this match then. Who? What? Yeah, I guess they I guess Charlotte and Becky were feuding with, um, where the hell's my phone at?
Where the hell's my phone at? All right, let's get back to this match. So we're just going to say Charlotte kicked out at two. Charlotte had a pinfall. Bliss able to kick out at two. And that ni nice suplex from Bliss. Bliss now in control of the match. Add a reset the match for if you're watching on YouTube. I don't understand why they're... Um, I don't. I don't want her in the. I don't want her even in the ring. Period. Even if I can't control her, I don't want her out there. It's silly. If she comes out again, I just. I just got to edit rivalries. I think. Really, I think I should just turn that off in the settings. That run. The, you should be able to turn off run-ins. Bliss drops down and look at that knee. Bliss able to just catch charlotte with the knee now entirely different story in the second half of this match uh xbox what's up camilo and charlotte just a stomp on bliss try stomping her and a nice hip toss from alexa and bliss trying to go to work on the nope bliss just thrown the strength of charlotte just tossing bliss bliss face first to the canvas bliss rolls through a kick runs into a clothesline bliss ducks the clothesline and rakes the eyes and that's when then Charlotte runs right into a knee. Bliss just completely different game plan. Bliss just finding that groove, shifting it into second gear. That's what you. That's what she had to do if she's gonna beat Charlotte. If you're gonna beat someone as tough and as ready as Charlotte, you gotta be ready to bring the fight to them. That's what Bliss is doing now. Nice kick to the back. Charlotte up to her feet though, and look at that. Just float over DDT. And Bliss got spiked by that, having to roll out of the ring as a result. Rose back in. And take Charlotte back. Back suplex. That seems to have done the damage that Alexa needed it to do. Now she's just smothering that boot. Smothering Charlotte. And look at the knees. And there's that backflip, that dangerous combination from Bliss. And she's not done yet. Bliss not done yet. Waiting for Charlotte to get back to her feet. No. Charlotte can, can, scouts the DDT. And a beautiful neck breaker. My Lord. She sat out on that neck breaker. Puts even more pressure on the neck when you come, when you come dropping down across the shoulder blade. And now Charlotte looks like we got a figure eight. Oh, and it's locked in. Re Alexa nowhere near the rope. She might have to tap out here. And Bliss somehow gets out, grabs the foot, and is able to, to release the pressure and fires the forearm to let go. Bliss out of that hold. She needed that. She needs to get out of that forearm or that, that figure eight. And now Bliss going right back to work. Another back suplex using the top rope as an assist. I don't know what Bliss has planned here, but she runs into a jawbreaker from Charlotte. What a tournament this has been so far. Inverted DDT. Who, uh, let me look at my bracket. I gotta look at my bracket. If Alexa Bliss wins this match, she goes on to face the winner of Baszler versus KV Ray. And Bliss just stomps Charlotte's face first to the canvas and thinks it's an opportunity to go for a pin and gets a one count. Charlotte just powers out at one. And tries for a, a cutter of some sort. Runs it to a spear from Charlotte. Okay, this time I am 100% going to have to. We're just going to ignore this. I don't know why. Yo, can I not leave the ring? Why can't I leave the ring? There we go. I was about to say, I'm pressing the button. What the hell? Cool. All right. We'll just leave Charlotte. We'll leave uh, Sasha Banks here. And then can I unassign myself? Yeah, that's not too bad. I can work with that. No, she's getting back in the ring.
Referee, how long are you going to turn around? There's a pin now. Referee not even paying attention. Hey, ref, I'm right here. Why is the referee still looking away? This is far too long. Sasha from Disrespected No More watching this match. All the women in the back. She cannot get in the ring anymore, can she? Yeah. I knew that. That's why I didn't want to do that. You know what? <laughs> what is wrong with these WWE games? Um, I don't know. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing for this. I'm gonna Alexa Bliss won that match. Fuck it. Sorry, Alexa Bliss won that. That's goofy. These games are these games never cease to amaze me. Okay. So Alexa Bliss wins that match, whatever. Cool, fun, awesome. I should have just kept control of the character and let them keep wrestling. Uh, but I thought the game. What's up, Sonic? So we get a recap of Kenny Omega versus Ted DiBiase from their cage match at NGW year one. And we see Ted DiBiase win. He wins when Omega accident, like Omega tries going for a splash and Ted collapses out of the way and Omega hits the cage and Ted uses that opportunity to, to get that million dollar sleeper hold in on unfortunately for Omega he can't get out of it and Omega gets choked out so that's when then so we get a uh we get the final moments of that match where Omega's in the ring the cage has been lifted back up Omega's in the center of the ring and he's absolutely devastated that he lost and but he he's a man. He said he would he'd leave, and he thanks the crowd and the crowd chants, "Thank you, Kenny, and please don't go." And Omega leaves the ring, goes up the ramp, and he waves bye to everyone, blows everyone kisses, and that's the end of Kenny Omega. And then MJF's theme song hits one more time, and disrespect it no more. Come out after that video package ends, and they have front row seats. For this re-airing of the NGW World Championship. So they all they all come out to the ring and they get they they sit in the front row and they're watching on the big screen. They're watching Daniel Bryan versus MJF. And this let's just pretend this happened at year one. Let's pre let's pretend this is the year one main event. And here we are at the main event of NGW year one. It's time. The NGW World Title on the line. Daniel Bryan defends against that no good, lousy, despicable MJF. And look at that smug look on his face. The Battlefield Briefcase winner. Won the Battlefield Briefcase by beating Bobby Lashley at Anarchy in the UK. And then a, a firmly cementing his spot as the number one contender at NGW Year One. Which is where we're at. That's why we're here tonight. This is where we're at. MJF challenging Daniel Bryan. Disrespected no more. Took out Sting earlier in the night. There is no Sting to help Daniel Bryan out with these numbers. Because you know, disrespected no more. They're going to come out and they're going to come out in droves. So Daniel Bryan is effectively in a one versus all scenario. No help. The odds are stacked but brian said he loves when the odds are stacked against him because the more he's told he can't do it the more he's gonna push himself to prove everyone wrong then he said he would love nothing more than to prove mjf wrong and slap that smile off of his face and tonight is his chance and i think he can do it what's up cash there's the ngw television champion we got sonic the hedgehog we got cash up in the house what's going on both of you guys Congratulations to Cash. You defeated CM Punk at year one to win the television title. And you will be defending that title tonight against Buddy Murphy. And just look at that confidence. 
look at the confidence on MJF's face. He knows he can do it. No, he, there's no thinking. There's no thought to this. This guy is all confidence. And tonight, he believes he's going to win the NGW World title. Madison Square Garden packed house. And there's the NGW World Champion, Daniel Bryan. And this crowd firmly behind Daniel. Bryan has ca captured the imagination of the NGW audience. The way he was able to go to Anarchy in the UK and beat the Great Muda, the man who dethroned Kenny Omega, no less. And now it's here tonight. The NGW world title on the line. And what a gorgeous title belt. And that's the belt that MJF has, has his eyes on. He's wanted it from the very beginning since signing with NGW. NGW World Championship on the line. Daniel Bryan defends against NJF. NGW year one. From New York, New York, weighing in at 216 pounds, MJF. MJF, none of the, no seconds allowed in this match, meaning no managers. That's why you don't see Baron Corbin. That's why you don't see the rest of Disrespect and No More out here tonight. Not allowed. They got out of control earlier tonight. If you didn't see the beginning of the show. If you didn't see the beginning of the show. Disrespect and No More laid out steam. And as a result, welcome back. You're just, you came back just in time for the re-airing of the main event. MJF, all he, saw, he said, he's going to come to NGW. He's going to take that world title. And this is how he's going to do it. He said, and a cutter to start the match. MJF just catching Brian with a cutter. Brian did not see that coming. And a big blow that's blocked. Brian blocks the strike. You know, MJF goes to work on the arm, has the leg. Picks him up and drops him face first. Hey, former Mint, message me on Discord if you can. I don't, I don't remember if you're in Discord or not, but message me. Back suplex from MJF going to work on that arm. Both these men submission wrestlers. Well, submission finishers. Brian more of a submission wrestler. Brian has the yes lock. MJF the salt of the earth arm bar. Fujiwara style arm bar. And look at the grappling exchanges. MJF continue to go to work on the shoulder. MJF knows exactly what he wants. He wants to lock in that salt of the earth. He wants to get that submission pulled off. If things don't change in a hurry, this has all the making of a short evening for him. And disrespect it no more. You know they are on call in the back. Even though there are no seconds allowed in this match, no managers, you know that if and when MJF Request help. When he needs help, you know what's going to happen. When he gives the signal, you're going to see those thugs, those no good, dirty dogs. Sorry, I'm going to watch my language here. Disrespect it no more. You know they're going to come out and try to even the odds as Brian just continue just going to work on MJF. Just look at the stomps to the chest. Brian has a pin here. And a, the Jeff, MJF kicking out right, at one, right before the one count. All right, let me message. Uh... I got to agree with you, Michael. These superstars are in tremendous shape. And from what I understand, All right. MJF has been hitting the gym twice. Brian tossing MJF outside of the ring. 20 count. Title cannot change hands on the count out, and Brian knows that. But this is personal between these two. It was personal the moment that Brian 
saw Brie Bell and his wife get attacked by Sasha Banks as her initiation into disrespect to the war. MJF dropping Daniel Bryan with the spear outside of the ring, and he tosses Bryan back into the ring. And look at what is MJF doing on the apron. MJF asking for Brian to get back to his feet. Like he was going to do a springboard. He just teased the crowd. Didn't do anything. Instead, coming back in the ring. Looks like a beautiful Death Valley driver. A fisherman almost. And Jeff, MJ, Maxwell Jacob Friedman just going to work. Just going to work on Daniel Bryan. Look at him stalking Bryan here. And, oh, a knee to the... F oh, and a clothesline. Beautiful combo from MJF. Cannot take anything away from him in this current stance in the match. It's giving, giving a lot of good offense to MJF. Or is MJF. But now Bryan, beautiful dragon suplex. Or a tiger suplex. Got both hooks in and just beautiful German suplex. Irish whip from Bryan sending MJF into the corner. And now what's Brian got planned here? No, MJF reverses. No, backflip from Daniel Bryan. Ducks the clothesline. And oh, a beautiful clothesline from Brian that floors MJF and Brian's channeling. Picking MJF up and a kick to the leg and follows with a series of kicks. Look at those kicks just chopping MJF and Brian. All right, Brian goes for the pin. And MJF kicks out at two. Are you kidding me? Brian back to his feet. He wants to finish this. He wants to keep that title and he wants to shut MJF, do uh, MJF up doing it. And now it's his chance. He goes in for the knee and he gets it. And another pinfall. And here's what happens. Brian's about to get the three count, and Sasha Banks pulls the referee out of the ring. Banks pulls the referee out, and the crowd can't believe it. And when this happens, Brie Bella comes running down the ramp, and she attacks Sasha, and the two brawl around ringside before disappearing to the back, and the match is still on. And Sasha saved MJF from losing after that knee. Pulled the referee out. Now look at MJF attacking Brian from behind. Brian distracted by Bree brawling with Sasha. Now look at MJF. MJF with a sneak attack. MJF with a sneak attack. And he just knee to the head and another clothesline. I can't believe what I just saw. I told you. The second MJF was in trouble. Disrespected or more, we're gonna come out and help. And now MGF going to work. No, Brian slips out of the legs, and now Brian back to his feet before MJF. There's a kick. Look at the strikes. No, a kick to the leg. And an arm drag from Daniel Bryan. You like that username? And they lock up. Locking horns are MJF and Brian. MJF with a spear. And now MJF with the cover of his own. He's gonna steal it. No, Brian gets out. MJF just about to steal it with the help of Sasha Banks. Good on Brie Bella standing by her men, coming out and preventing Sasha from staying out here. Now MJF off the middle rope, big splash. And then MJF just drops an elbow on Daniel Bryan. Bryan now. Back in control of this match. Kicks MJF in the leg. Big and Zaguri. No, Shining Wizard, I apologize. Brian, dragging through. Going to work on that leg of MJF. Oh, this nonsense. I forgot about this happening. Oh, no, did my controller die? It shouldn't have. Oh, my nephew, Mad Mad. Dude, I am snake bit tonight.
All right, cool. Ryan, looking to stretch MJF out. No, going to work on the knees instead. A lot on the line in this match. There's a lot at stake. MJF kicks out before the one even drops, though. And now MJF just catching Brian in a knee to the rib cage. And now look at MJF just working the shoulder blade of Brian, dropping him shoulder first. NGW year one. What a pay per view it's been. We've crowned new tag champions. And a big sit out power bomb. Two titles have changed hands tonight. Bret Hart defeated CM Punk for the NGW television title. Look at MJF with the feet on the ropes. And Brian kicks out. And Jeff trying to just do whatever it takes to win. And he runs into a turnbuckle for his efforts. And the crowd behind Daniel Bryan. Big uppercut from Daniel. But MJF instead eats the uppercut, gets an Irish whip out of it. And a big knife edge chop, two. Two in succession. And now what is it? MJF going to work on the arm over the top rope. Just pulling on it. My God, he's just on the attack. Vicious as he spears Daniel Bryan. And kick to the midsection. And now what's MJF got planned here? Pump handle. Oh, my Lord. Turns him inside out. Leg hooked. MJF with the pin. And a kick out from Daniel Bryan. MJF simply just not believing that Brian has the wherewithal to kick out of this offense. And don't forget the Mildred Burke Cup starts tomorrow night on NGW Shockwave, only, a, only on the Pancake Sports Network. But Brian now fights with MJF on that top rope. MJF able to throw a knee to block Brian. And now what's he got? Just slamming Brian across that turnbuckle. I can't believe MJF got Sasha Banks involved in this match, dropping a fist right on the forehead of Daniel Bryan. And look at MJF just continuing the offense. Championship on the line. And what is, oh my God, off the, oh, just, gosh, a pal driver. Let's see if this ends it. And Brian gets the shoulder up, and NJF cannot believe it. This has been a big title match. The main event of NGW year one. And it's been one hell of a contest. And look at Brian. Brian fly flying with those kicks. Instead, no, MJF fights back. And now the kicks to the chest from Brian, just chopping away at MJF. Hey, Big Dog Gaming 23 has joined the Bad Guy Club. As the newest member of the club, you receive a pair of sunglasses, a switchblade, and a leather jacket. So thank you for joining the Baddest Club on Twitch TV. And remember to stay bad because being bad is fun. And Brian has the yes lock cinched in. But MJF is right there at the rope. And he bites the fingers of Brian to get out of it. And a big knee from MJF. He's looking for the win. And, he gets the and Brian kicks out. And look at him, Jeff, arguing with the referee. Just getting in the referee's face. That was a three count, he says. Jawbreaker from Brian. Big forearm. Down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. And now Brian just stopping on the elbow. We have blood in this match. And there's the, is that the cattle, cattle mutilation? No, MJF reverses the cattle mutilation. We've not seen Brian do that in NGW. Normally going for hill hooks and yes locks. And now MJF gets out of it again. What a hip toss. Runs into an uppercut from MJF. And a big jumping knee. Oh, 
And Brian kicks out at two again. And look at MJF taking the turnbuckle pad. I gotta say, when I saw this week's power and O'Brien dragon suplex on MJF gets it. And MJF kicks out at two. And MJF back up, knocking Daniel Bryan over the top rope. And they're outside the ring once more. This match has been a fantastic world title encounter. Brian, however, tossing MJF back. I will say I like that the AI does not try to stay out of the ring. It looks like they uh, will come back in. Brian snapping off with some kicks. Snapping off with a series of kicks. And a, the kick to the head. What's Brian got planned here? Brian just tossing MJF over the top rope. Taunting with the crowd. What's going on, Gold? How you doing? Brian, big overhand strike. And a series of kicks. Another overhand strike outside. Another kick. This time MJF rolls through. Attacks the bat. No, Brian blocks. They both head back into the ring. They both know what's at stake here. They both want this title. Brian, DDT. No, MJF just dropping him shoulder first to the canvas. And goes to work on that leg. And there it is, the salt of the earth. All right. So this is the last time... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to restart the match. He tapped out. Okay. So, MJF has the salt of the earth locked in. Brian is very close to tapping. You have disrespect no more. They're out on the stage celebrating. Come on, MJF, you got this. They think the match is as good as over. And then Sting comes out. Don't forget, Sting got attacked before the show even started by disrespect no more. He comes out. He shows up on stage and he starts knocking out all, he starts knocking every disrespect no more member with that baseball bat. Anyone who's moved, anyone who moves, doesn't matter who they are. They're getting clocked with that bat. And then Steen goes to ringside and he starts rooting for Brian, telling Brian to dig in and get out of that submission. And Brian comes back to life and he makes it to the ropes and the match continues. And this is, that's going to be the final restart. Reminder, MJF wins this match. But we, I just wanted to play the match out. And they're back on their feet again. Sting. Sting this time coming out. Rooting for Brian. Telling Brian to dig in. And Brian gets the ropes. And out MJF going after Daniel Bryan. A tiger driver. Look at MJF just stopping Daniel Bryan. MJF angry. MJF incensed at what just happened. And he eats a kick. From Brian, the match still goes on. Disrespected no more, just got laid to waste on the stage. Sting hit anybody who moved with that bat. And Sting said he would be out. He would make sure disrespected no more didn't get involved. And he did just that because they were starting to play their hand. Coming out on stage, coming out to watch. And you know what that lead usually leads to this time, though, MJF off the top rope. What does he got playing here? Elbow drop off the top. But Brian just fights through it. And a back suplex from Brian. The main event of NGW year one has been one for the ages. Sasha Banks helping MJF the first time. When it looked like Brian was going to win the match, Sasha Banks coming out and pulling the referee outside of the ring. Brie Bella fighting Sasha Banks off and the two disappearing to the back. And then MJF gets the Salt of the Earth locked in with the distraction from Disrespected No More. And Sting finally, Sting comes out. And we thought Sting was taken out of commission. And Brian now just flooring MJF with some drop kicks. What a title match this has been. World title on the line. And it might even be more, it might even be about more than that. Because MJF has found a way to get into Daniel Bryan's head. And Bryan just wants to be the one to stop this rise of MJF. MJF just gets taken out with a German suplex. And Bryan goes for another pin. 
Not even a one count. I can't believe they're finding it in their their will, their gut to kick out of these maneuvers. But here we are, MJF kicking out of a one count from what looked like a very harrowing German suplex. Brian going to work on the muscle, going to work on the arm. He wants the yes lock. That is the name of the game. Get the yes lock in. Brian just smashing MJF's head over the top rope. Brian just going nuts, not breaking off. And MJF collapses to the canvas. He's had enough. He said he's had enough. No more. And Brian, cattle mutilation. Cattle mutilation on MJF. Center of the ring. MJF rolls through. Both men back to their feet. Elbow. And a, oh, he had him with the, the knee again. Did MJF. Just mocking Brian. Brian, however, powers through a shoulder block, shoulder tackle. Brian sees this as his chance. Here he goes. An MJF Irish whip. Brian, no backflips. What a counter. Brian off the ropes, ducks a clothesline, and gets one of his own. Just a little bit faster than MJF in that exchange was Daniel Bryan. And Brian kicks him in the leg, drops him, and he starts chopping away again. Those kicks, rapid kicks in succession. And all MJF can do is just eat them. He has no choice. MJF out cold, face first on the canvas. This is Brian's opportunity. He goes for a pinfall. And MJF kicks out once more. And that is blood you see in that ring. You see the gloves on the referee. Daniel Bryan has been busted open. And a knee that catches MJF. This can't end it, right? But it can. That's fine. We go to, uh, so what's going to happen here is I'm actually going to, I just wanted to get a full length match out of it. So we're going to quit this match. MJF ends up winning the match. They go another, like, we'll say another five minutes, but eventually MJF picks up the win and shocks the world by winning the NGW world title. And we go, after the match ends, we go back to the front row. We're disrespected no more. MJF, Drew McIntyre, Tyler Bate, Cedric Alexander, Jeff Hardy, Sasha Banks, Baron Corbin. They're all watching in the front row of the audience and they're clapping and they're celebrating. And then the screen cuts from the match to Sting and it looks like Sting is in the building and it looks like he's heading toward ringside and MJ and as soon as they see him Drew McIntyre and Tyler Bate they hop up from their seats and they hop over the barricade and they go up the ramp but then a spotlight hits the crowd and there's someone else doesn't quite look like Sting however it's someone in a Sting outfit and they're in the crowd and they're walking down the steps. And Cedric Alexander and Jeff Hardy, they see that. And they get out of the they get up from their seats and they head up the steps, they head up the steps to meet this other Sting. Meanwhile, MJF, he gets in the ring. And MJF's looking around. He's wanting to know what's going on as Drew McIntyre and Tyler Bate go in the back, go backstage, and they're looking for the Sting that's heading to ringside. And Cedric Alexander and Jeff Hardy, they're going up the steps to go after the Sting that's in the crowd. Another Sting. This one in a jacket with a, his hoodie up. He's in a Sting mask. This one comes in the ring behind MJF. And when MJF turns around, it's too late. He gets taken out with a double leg. He gets uh, gets taken out with a double leg takedown. And this Sting ends up firing a series of right hands at MJF, just going nuts on him. MJF eventually tries there. They roll around, and then this MJF gets him off of him, and this Sting keeps stomping him and stomping him. And MJF eventually rolls out of the ring. He's hurt. 
He goes up the ramp to join to to get with Tyler Bate and Drew McIntyre, who come back. And this thing in the center of the ring, he takes the hood off and he takes the mask off, and it's Austin Aries. Because don't forget, Austin Aries has a guaranteed title shot against MJF and or against the champion. He's had that title shot since he signed with NGW, and it looks like Austin Aries has officially made his announcement. Aries has MJF in his sights. MJF looks like he's seen a ghost. The crowd goes crazy. We don't know who the other thing in the crowd is because before Cedric Alexander and uh, Jeff Hardy can get to him, he disappears. And Drew McIntyre and Tyler Bate, obviously they retreat. They left the uh, backstage area and came back ringside to help out MJF. So right now, we know that of the three stings we just saw, one of them was Austin Aries, and NGW Shockwave goes off the air.